Well, folks, it is April 1st. I think it's about uh, 11 degrees Celsius here. That's, uh, let's see, you got double it in that, 30, so that's 22, 32, 42, yeah, yeah, give or take, somewhere around probably 50 degrees, 45 degrees. But, like usual, it's mail call. And, uh, my first is from Nickel Nose, Nickel Nose Restos. I think that's how it's pronounced, okay? If it's not, excuse me. But, uh, yeah. And uh, that's pretty cool. I like your artwork. That's how I feel sometimes. Now what? Yeah. And, uh, there's two stickers in here. There's one. Has everybody seen? And there's the other one. That's cool. If you guys haven't checked Nickel Nose Restos out, go ahead and check them out. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, does a lot of neat re restorations. And uh, yeah, we're all trying to build something from nothing. And uh, yeah, thanks again for the stickers. I'll have another little vid of me putting them up in a minute. And after after a long wait, Guess whose sticker I got today? He, I think he was the first one to send me one. And, uh, Daigle Full Throttle. It finally got here. Took forever, but it will soon have its place in my little pickup. Thanks, man. That's really cool. Yeah. Good little pictures of your truck. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Like I said, if uh, nobody's checked out Full Throttle 440, give him a look. He's doing a Chevy C20, I think it is. And, uh, and like I said before, he does a lot more uh, rust repair than I did on this. Oh, and by the way, I guess you can see um, I'm sitting in my build right now. Haven't done much to it, but uh, just thought I'd give a seat in here and have a look around. But everybody, full throttle, like I said. Nickel Nose Restos. With this one. And that one. Thank you all. And I'll do a short little vid and I'll have them all up in my truck. Okay. Well, like I said before, if you want to enjoy the beautiful day. And uh, as you can see, one sec. It's beautiful here. See what I mean? It's also beautiful. Green, green grass all over the place. Yeah, more grass to cut. Okay. Well, uh, till next little vid of them being in my truck. See you later. Well, everybody, here we are again. And uh, here they are mounted. There's nickel nose. I don't know if that's going to focus too good. But I can't get any further away than I am now. And there's full full throttle 440s. And nickel nose restos. That's cool. I should have a few beer tonight. Hmm. Okay. Well, like I said, if you guys haven't checked out any of these guys' sites, go ahead and do it. They're a cool bunch of guys. 
and they're all gearheads. Okay, well, everybody have a great day. And as to everybody else here, all my other subscribers, like I said, check all these guys out. Check everybody out here. Steve's Garage, Shibaholics Garage, Underground Auto One, In Debt for Kids. And, uh, oh yeah, me too. Okay, okay, oh. And the Reaper, can't forget about that. Okay, you guys, check them all out, okay? Everybody take care, have a good day, peace out, and build on. Bye for now. Hey, folks, uh, just a little update on that uh, e-brake handle. I, like I said in my little uh, comment on my channel, I can't, I can't use this. It sits too high. So uh, what I've done is I had an old, an old tranny cover from another truck that I tore apart, and uh, I welded in a little piece here. This was the hole was from a 4x4 four four. and then uh, just spot welding really roughly and then I cut out the piece for this to sit into. This is just a mock-up, my other good ones right there. And, uh, and then this will sit like that. Doesn't look too bad. I can't see a hell of a lot because I got sun behind me. But uh, yeah, uh, I'll put the camera down for a minute and then I'll stick it in my truck and I'll get back to you. Okay, well, hell, I'll just do it like this. Okay, I'll put the camera down. Back in a minute, folks. Bye. Okay, here it is sitting in there. Like, uh, I tried it in the other cab, uh, that brown truck, that one right there, but it's an automatic and the tranny hump is not that high, but uh, I don't know, I may just do up this one for right now, and then uh, once I get everything else in, I'll place this in and see if it works, and if it doesn't work, well then, I, still, I can still put back in my uh, original old, uh, tranny cover that's not damaged or anything like that. But yeah, I'll just uh, bolt these down here and here and then see about what I can do about running it back from there. I don't think I'll have too much really in the way because it can run right along, right along here. And uh, right along here and, and, and down. That's where the steady bearing goes. So, uh, I don't know, it might, it, might, it might get interesting. Like I said, it doesn't work. Well, I'll just go back to the original e-brake. But there's the other cables right, uh, right there. So basically it's a straight shot. So, uh, I don't know. I'll play it by ear right now, do a little bit of mocking up, and I even got a couple holes there if I have to mount something, I don't know, okay, well like I said, this is just a shot in the dark, trying something different, but uh, yeah, I don't think it'll be in the way of the tranny, I think I have some distance between it and there, so uh, I'll get back to you when uh, I got more of an update. Okay, well, take care and peace out. Here we are again. Okay, uh, I've got this mounted. Like I said, it's just temporary. And uh, everything's all roughly where it should be. I put in just a, a mock-up dash. I've got three of them. 
and uh, the only thing I was worried about was the distance from the top of this to here but as you see as it comes up right there I've got just about or oh, in real world part about three quarters of an inch and uh, it should be out of the way of my shifter because the shifter and everything will come right through here and about dead center that's about dead center yeah so that's seconds down here there is up over here it should work out I'm not too sure well not too sure once I'm gonna get put a couple of bolts in that tranny cover to hold it in place and then I'll start working on other stuff underneath but for right now I guess gotta get cleaned up like everybody says family comes first gotta run my mum around do a few little errands but I'll get back to this uh, either later today or tomorrow but like I said so far it's uh, not looking too bad doesn't look too bad with a dash in it but uh, yeah the red one that I painted with the candy apple is really gonna pop in here okay well um, till either later on today or tomorrow everybody take care enjoy your uh, beautiful weather I know I keep reminding everybody how nice it is here must be about 12 degrees here Celsius so that's uh, 24 34 54 I don't know 60 something okay well uh, everybody till later take care peace out and build on